this is the most asked question the most simple question with a very simple answer now the expectation of the interviewer here is that uh, do you understand uh, the importance and the difference between these two vocabularies that is authentication and authorization the interviewer wants you to understand that uh, do you know that how uh, do you know that what are the different kind of steps you know that takes place when you do dot net security so in other words you know whenever you implement forms authentication or windows authentication do you understand that what kind of different steps that takes place internally to do the complete security now there is nothing to be demonstrated here uh, it's more of a theoretical question with a theoretical answer so what we'll do is let's first touch base on the theory and then let's try to understand that what we need to speak before the interview now whenever you implement dot net security i mean to say you use uh, whatever methodology you wish forms authentication uh, windows authentication or uh, passport authentication custom authentication uh, whatever it is right there are two important steps that needs to be executed to ensure that your dot net security works properly the first one is to check if the user exists in the database or not so the first step is you will go and check in the database if this user exists uh, in your tables and if he is a valid user the second step is once you know that the user is existing in your database you would like to check what kind of rights does he have so in other words you know for what kind of modules does this user the access have or what kind of access does the user have to your application so the first step you know where you go and check if the user is existing in your database or not is called as authentication and the second step you know where you go and check you know what kind of rights does this user have is called as authorization so what the interviewer is expecting from you is just simple two lines authentication means identifying who the user is and authorization means you know what kind of rights does the user have uh, in your application the question which we just discussed uh, is more related towards dot net security now dot net security is one of the important sections in any dot net interview why because uh, any dot net application is not complete without talking about security uh so here are some connecting questions you know which can pop up when people ask you questions about dot uh, net security the first one is the importance of principal and identity objects the second question you know which is very important is basically how have you implemented authentication and authorization in your project so in other words uh, have you used forms authentication windows authentication passport authentication and if so then how have you implemented it in other words you know have you went ahead and you changed the config file what did you do for that the third kind of question is more related towards uh, membership and roles you know where people expect you to understand the importance of membership and roles and how they help you to expedite your uh, security development process and the final one which is more uh, for the senior architects and senior dot net developers is that have you worked on single sign on and if yes then how did you implement single sign on in asp dot net so what i would expect you know what i would suggest is basically uh, go to your questpon video account and uh, in the questpon video account we have uploaded five great videos uh, related towards asp.net authentication and authorization so you can see that uh, there are approximately six videos over here and uh, you know these six videos basically talks about uh, right from the basics of how we can do authentication authorization uh, you know what are the different ways of doing authentication authorization uh, then you know basically talks about membership and roles it talks about single sign on it talks it talks about principal and identity objects so what i would suggest is you know just to cover up uh, for the dot net security questions you know do go and see the six part video series and i'm sure that basically you know you will be able to tackle any kind of uh, dot net interview question regarding security Thank you very much.